van's loaded up and I'm ready to go. Uh, there's only a slight problem is that I haven't really chosen where to go to. Uh, so I'm split 50-50 between Wales and Cornwall. I've never dived in either place. Wales, I know they get some pretty decent bass and lobsters. And uh, down in Cornwall at the moment, they're getting some pretty decent octopus. And I love eating octopus, so it'd be nice to catch one of them. Uh, heads will be Wales, tails will be Cornwall. It's tails, so down to Cornwall I go. I'll see you down there then. Oh, well this is just beautiful. Absolutely lovely. I was diving on a sandbar for flatfish, but some ships have been doomed here. And I found this little wreck at about five meters. This bass swam underneath me while I was doing a breathe up, so I took a shot just to make sure that I had dinner sorted. There was a pretty sizeable conger eel sitting in this wreck. I was hoping for a decent bass, but I don't know if they hide in this wreck or not. There were some okay sized pouting on this wreck, so I decided to take one. Unfortunately, the spear got stuck in like a gap, so it went through a hole and then um, got stuck. It took me many dives to get the spear out. Doesn't really make any difference though. I'm gonna go in the water, go diving, hopefully find a place or something, a lobster, anything really. Wow, it's got its own little tunnel. I think the water's actually the water levels above this at high water or about, about here somewhere. This lobster, when I grabbed it, I thought it was a bit on the small side, so I let go. And this was a really decent lobster, I just couldn't um, get the flopper in behind to pull him out. This is a velvet swimmer crab. They've got the very distinctive back legs with the blue markings. They've got bright red eyes and white and blue tinges to the claws. They're very aggressive, very short-lived, well, fairly short-lived. They grow to about 10 centimeters across and there's a surprising amount of meat in the body. I started on the left with the smallest crab and then I worked my way across to the big crabs in the corner. Uh, this was a buried female, so I put her back as soon as I realized.
it was a long walk to get to the beach, but I found this cheeky little shortcut instead. I spent a few days diving in this location because it's really different to where I normally dive and I normally don't do any surface spearfishing because I don't have this type of ground and all these fish. Um, the problem is, is that I'm using a camera on my head so a lot of the GoPro footage wasn't usable. I found quite a few mullet just hovering underneath where the weed makes a carpet on the surface. There's been a huge boom in the common octopus population, the likes of which hasn't been seen since 1948 I think. I was really happy to have caught this, uh, so I turned around, swam back in and then took it home for the friends and family to enjoy.